In this video, I'll show you how you can stop audio from playing on subsequent revisits to slides. I don't do this for all my courses, but every now and then a stakeholder asks if I can set up a slide to not replay the audio on subsequent revisits. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. And the way to do that is using advanced action. So today I'm going to show you a way you can write an advanced action. And then we're going to take it a step further and turn that advanced action into a shared action that you can use throughout your course over and over again. So for starters, let's take a look at what we're going to need for each slide that contains audio that we're going to play once only. So the first thing I need to do is create a variable for each slide where I don't wish to replay the audio on subsequent slide visits. So we're going to click on our project drop down menu and select variables and we're going to add a new variable and we need a variable for each slide where this will be the case. So I like to start my variables with an underscore and we're going to go slide 01 underscore audio and we'll give it an initial value of zero and I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to do one for slide two as well underscore slide zero two underscore audio and once again I'm going to give it a value of zero. We'll go ahead and hit save. Again you would repeat this for every slide where you don't want the audio to replay on subsequent visits. In this case, I'm just doing two, so we'll just go from there. I'm going to go ahead and close this. So now what we need is we need to write an advanced action to play our audio under certain conditions. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Project and click on Advanced Actions. So in this case here, I'm going to call this slide01 underscore audio. This is going to contain multiple decision tabs. The first tab is going to increment our variable. And simply what we're going to do is increment slide 01 audio by a value of 1. Now we're going to go to our second tab. And in this case here, we'll call this audio check. And this will be a conditional advanced action. And we're going to say if the variable slide one audio is less than the literal value of two, then we're simply going to play our audio file. Now I don't have any audio files in this project, so we're going to go ahead and select that from my computer. I happen to have that on my desktop here and we'll select slide zero one audio dot wave and go ahead and click open. And that's going to play, but only if this is the first time we visited this slide. I'm going to go ahead and save this as an action, click OK, and click close. Now once you have your advanced action, we're just going to go to the properties inspector and go to the actions tab of the slide. And we're going to run that advanced action on enter of this slide. So we're going to Execute Advanced Actions, and of course there it is. I don't have any other scripts written so far. So let's go ahead and preview this and see how it works. Sometimes employees think that by ignoring cases of discrimination or harassment, the problem might go away. If you So if I go forward in the course and then return back to the previous slide, in theory I shouldn't hear any of that audio. So let's go ahead and test that out. Yeah, so this time we don't hear any sound, but this is a great opportunity for the learner to go back and just check the on-screen text or quickly review what they learned on the previous slide. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this preview and let's go to that advanced action script once more. We'll open it right from our properties inspector here. Now here's one of the cool things that you can do with such a script you could save this as a shared action. And in this case here, I'm going to call this play audio first time. 
Now we need to change some of the values associated with this advanced action to make it a shared action. We need to select a different variable. So I'm going to select that parameter and we'll just call this the variable for audio played. And down here, this will be the actual audio file. So I can save this as a shared action, click OK, and we can now click close. And I can apply that shared action to other slides in my project, so long as I have an audio file for that slide and a variable to keep track of it. So let's do it for this slide here. So on Enter, we're going to execute shared action and we'll click on the action parameters icon. First thing we're going to do is select our variable. In this case, we've already created slide 02 audio and we need to select an audio file, the actual audio file for that uh, particular slide. And I'm going to need to import that in. There it is there. Open. And I can save that now. And of course, now when I move forward, let's just add an additional blank slide at the end. Let's preview the whole course now. So preview HTML5 in browser. Sometimes employees think that by ignoring cases of discrimination or harassment, the problem might go away. Documenting the event doesn't need to be overly complicated. Just write down the details. In so now we've skipped past that content, and if we wish to go back, we don't necessarily want to hear the audio again. So let's go back to the very beginning. No audio. And once again, no audio. Of course, once you've published your project, don't forget you can send it out to your stakeholders and subject matter experts using Review My eLearning. You can capture feedback from multiple reviewers and see it all in the same place. Reviewers can even see each other's comments, and you know exactly what slide in your course that feedback is for. Try out Review My eLearning for free by using the link in the description of this video so they know I sent you. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.